Hey guys, what is up? It's Dusty here and welcome back to another crypto video. And my question of today is, are you buying the XRP dip? The reason I am asking you guys that is because every single time that the price goes up, people are only asking me, Dusty, when should I buy? When should I buy? When should I buy? And every time the price goes down, people are like, Dusty, should I sell? Should I sell? Should I sell? And you know why that is? That is because people panic and they don't have proper strategy. So let me quickly say to you guys, if you don't know what to do, hodl, 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 whatever you want to call it. That's the easiest thing out there. If you want to maximize gains, make sure you think of a strategy like, for example, the one I do over on Patreon. And I've also talked to you guys about it over in these live streams before. Buy your way down. DCA. Only with coins you think are really going to do it, but XRP is one of those. I literally just bought some more XRP. Why? Because my strategy told me to do so, and because I think it's a juicy coin. I also explained this scenario over on Patreon, exactly what I thought about it. And in the end, it turned out quite like we expected it to, so that was interesting. Having said that, the reason I started off with the question of, are you buying XRP or are you bullish, yada, 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 is mostly because I am extremely, extremely, extremely bullish on XRP. You guys know it already. But that also means that whenever the price goes down, I just think about good buying opportunities. I don't get afraid. I don't get scared. I don't think, hmm, maybe I should uh, maybe I should throw everything overboard and start dumping. No, what I'm looking at is, hmm, okay, RSI going down like crazy. Okay, the price has dropped significantly. Ooh, is this a good point to buy? And for example, a point like this looks like a juicy one to just pick up. Even though this is usually a bearish crossover, uh, which we just got. It's usually a reversal. Descending. Basically, let's let's explain it like this, right? We got an uptrend going on on the one hour. Uh, and we got to a certain point where the support was the same, but the resistance basically keeps closing in, right? And that basically means that people are selling, 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 selling more every single time. And the people are just starting to pick it up at kind of the same pace every time. Usually that breaks to the downside because at one point the bear, uh, the bulls can't handle it anymore. And that's exactly what we saw here. And once more, we then retest that little support area, which we just broke and now are coming back down further. However, because we are generally in an uptrend though, that this is happening and because the RSI is so ridiculously low, I'm picking up XRP right here because I don't think that anything is over. I just think it's a breakout to the downside, like 7% or so down. And now, boom, we are picking up some more moolah, some more coins, some just juiciness because the bigger breakout already happened right here. I'm not sure if we're going to come back up there, but I do believe that there's some smaller uh, opportunities to be gotten. And that's, of course, what I'm going for. Let me once more say, guys, I am getting more and more and more cool trading competitions for you guys uh, on Bybit. And you guys said, man, do XRP because that's the only one we trade. I get it. So I'm going to be the only YouTuber out there who's going to get specific XRP competitions over on Bybit. Do not worry. Right now, you have a 25 XRP bonus if you deposit 500 and a chance to win a Ledger Nano X if you deposit 1,000. There's going to be, let's say, about 30 people who deposit 1,000 XRP plus. So your chance of winning is about, well, you know, so let's say, 5 out of 30, uh, one in every six just going to be completely open and honest with you guys, right? I thought it was going to be only 10, but I think it's going to be like 30 people in the end of things. So your chance of winning is one in six, a Legend Nano X. And if there's like 50 people, for example, I'm just going to demand that they're going to give away 10 Legend Nano Xs, not just five, all right? So I'm going to be getting a ton of giveaways going on. Do not worry about it. All you need is a Bybit account and just trade it there a little bit with my link, obviously. If you don't like it, don't use it, please, guys. It is still dangerous, but that's just my two cents. Now, XRP Cardano Litecoin, this veteran analyst expects one of these alts to pump the hardest. If you think about it, these cryptos are also the ones that have been suppressed quite significantly. ADA already pumped quite significantly just now. Uh, we just saw ADA make a new all-time high, if I'm not mistaken, even. Let's quickly check it out. ADA is up 8% or so. We were expecting that for a good part. I made two videos on ADA yesterday explaining to you guys that people are valuing ADA in waves. And what that basically means is that every time ADA just pumps like crazy, then cools down a little bit, then pumps like crazy, cools down a little bit, pumps like crazy. And that is because of what Charles Hoskinson says most of the time. That is they have kind of a wave of announcements every single time. It's like all of a sudden, boom, a lot is going on for ADA. Then it's kind of quiet. Then a lot of stuff is going on with ADA. And that's also every time that people just massively buy in. And that's also exactly what happened now and why I was so excited about it. I should have written a more detailed post over on Patreon. But the thing is, guys, because my whole channel was deleted yesterday and there was so much stuff going on, I was also, you know, going to a different country and everything like that. It was very freaking busy. But I told everybody on Patreon, more stuff is coming. Let's make one thing clear. 
I do not say you should sign up, nor should I say, you know, I want you to sign up. I'm just saying it's there. Some people said you're a walking advertisement for your Patreon. Oh, please, no. Please, don't get it because you want to support me. Get it because you see some value in it. And the support is the second thing, right? But just every every content here, all of all of what I know uh, on that basis is just for free. I will never charge you money for anything. It's side stuff. You don't need it, however, to get rich with crypto. You don't need it if you're just an investor in crypto. You don't need it at all. It's just something you might want to have. You know, it's a side thing. Having said that, Ada, can it still go higher? Of course. $2 is still a start, in my opinion. <laughs> I think it's still a start. All right. Move in on. Um... Let's quickly check it out. All right, let's move on. I assume that most rectangles will become continuation patterns. Not all, but most. Oh, this is actually for Ada once more. Here, Bagsy. Malcolm von Papa says from the list, probably Ada pumping the most out of Ethereum, Bitcoin Cash, XP, EOS, TRX, Ada, and Litecoin. That is also rather interesting if you ask me. All right, let's move on. XRP lawsuit. SEC accuses Ripple of selectively denying access to fair notice docs. Uh, there's one thing I should also tell, and that is... A lot of people have said, Dusty, are you actually bearish in XP or are you bullish? Because sometimes you have negative titles. I always tell them, what? Where's the negative title? Where's the FUD? I don't really make that because I don't really think so of it at all. What I do, though, however, what I do do, however, it, <laughs> what I do do is I'm always realistic. And I think that's also one of the better trades on my end that I like to be realistic with crypto because I think we're in it to become really extremely wealthy. We're not in it because we just want to hype something up, right? We want to get the most out of it. And if I ever have to talk about a different crypto because I think that's going to make us all do better or make us all rich or something like that, I will always do it 100 out of 100 times. Even though my main crypto right now is XRP, once more, that doesn't mean I have the most amount of money in there, but it means it's my, you know, my most favorite crypto as of this point. I'm not only XRP holder. I'm not only bullish on XRP. And if I ever think the price is going to go down and we should buy more because it's going to dip, I will tell you. If I ever think there's going to be a bigger dip coming and you consider that FUD, it's still coming. All right. And once more, a lot of people press the dislike button every time I do something bearish, but I think that's a good part. You know, make sure you press the like button if you are enjoying the daily crypto videos. I keep saying that it helps out and it also helps out to kind of, you know, kind of counter dislikes a little bit of people who are always angry with me for making negative videos. I always try to get you guys the best info, the most accurate stuff. And right now, the current situation, we have a couple of things happening in this lawsuit. We have a hearing coming up. We don't know the date, right? It's basically the SEC proposed a hearing. So I'm not exactly sure if that's going to be a telephonic hearing like before, like the 6th and the 30th or something else. We also have, you know, Ripple basically accessing or wanting to access more info, which the judge, I think on the 6th of May or 7th, uh, no, 6th it was, actually said you're going to get that. So we have documents from the SEC coming up, which could literally change the lawsuit on its own. We have the SEC kind of going against Ripple saying, hey, one of the defenses is not pro uh, probable. And so forth and so on. We have so much stuff happening right now. All of that is going to be factored into the XRP price. And I also told you guys, I believe that Doge right now has a pretty good effect on XRP. So if Doge dumps, you better expect XRP to kind of follow along with that. Together, of course, with the sign that was already made right here. Once more, we bought the bottom right now. We can dip further, but that's just more buying for me, right? That is just more buying. Make sure you also check out Discord, by the way. It's pretty easy to do that. Uh, and it's just a lot of people are chatting in here. I think we are 15,000 people strong. There's always people in the voice chat. There's always people just chilling and online. You can see now there's like 1,300 people in total online here. Go check it out. A link is down below. A link is down below. And yeah, do I think they will win the lawsuit? Of course, of course, of course. Do I think Ripple has been doing some fishy stuff? No. Do I think the SEC has been doing some fishy stuff? Yes. This selectively denying access to fair notice docs is also really stupid. But that's again going to be proven in court eventually. I just think their fair notice defense is really solid. Then again, what the SEC is saying is that they selectively used it. And so their privilege argument cannot really be fulfilled completely if they, you know, I guess were aware of both sides. If they were thinking about it before doing it, basically, let's call it like that, then... Um, you know, then things become a little bit differently. However, I don't think it really matters. All of this is just blah, 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 blah. What matters a lot is what will the judge eventually think of XRP. And as it currently stands, if Ripple finds just one piece of information that relates Bitcoin or Ethereum to XRP, I think they're already in the clear to a very good part, to a very good degree. The, because the SEC can then not deny anymore that XRP and Bitcoin and Ethereum have something in common. And if that's the case, boom, a very good part of this lawsuit just falls off. When will it end? We do not know, but it could literally be really freaking soon here if Ripple finds something in those documents and if the SEC stops trying to hide that information. That's a very key and pivotal part. Also, guys, make sure you follow me over on Twitter if you haven't done so already. I told you guys all over on Twitter yesterday, 
the question is, who is shorting Doge? Whenever I say stuff like this, you might already know for yourself that I'm doing that, that I'm shorting something. The reason I don't say I am shorting Doge or I'm doing that, this, that, is because I think that's too risky. But I, I usually ask it as questions. This is not the first time that we've done that before um, because I, I just like to put it that way. The reason I was shorting was mostly like I explained yesterday because I also said in the video yesterday I was going to short. It was because of uh, Barry Silbert. I told you guys this yesterday, right? I showed you guys the Barry Silbert tweet and everything. We quickly come back to it. He basically said that he's shorting it as a company. And uh, so I was a little bit afraid of that. Uh, you know, you can't really bet against stuff like that. He says, okay, Doge peeps, it's been fun. Welcome to crypto. But the time has come for you to convert your Doge to BTC. Disclosure, we've gone short Doge. And Barry Silbert also says, any money we make on this, we'll go to donate to financial education and Bitcoin related causes. The chairman says, don't make me do it to you. And some other people in the comment section are really against him. But then again... It did pop off. It did work because Doge is down like crazy right now. And uh, my short is also in a ridiculous amount of profit. So, uh, you know, I'm very happy with that. But my point more so was actually make sure you follow me over on Twitter for if my channel ever gets deleted again, I still have the power of Twitter then. So make sure you follow me. I sent so many thank you messages. It is insane. Thank you all for replying. But I haven't had the chance yet because I've been messaging hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people. So, yeah, I, I, I wrote like... I think maybe it's going to be like 200 separate messages and sometimes just copy paste it because I was too tired. It took me hours and hours and hours to thank most of you guys, but I just couldn't get it done. My Twitter started to bug out at like 350 people, uh, but it really took me a long ass time to just write everybody a single reply. But it's pretty funny how many of you guys actually replied to me as well. It's just really crazy. I love every single one of you, as you most likely know already, man. Uh, and BC Backer posted something on Twitter. He said, as a reminder, I have 65% exited Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Cardano. I have zero exposure to DOT, Doge, or BNB. I still have my positions in XRP, Bitcoin, Cash, and Litecoin. Of the top 10, those are the three I'm willing to continue full holding. So that's for me, do for you, or you do do you. I want to say I'm bigger of an altcoin holder, I guess. I'm, you know, really thinking, where am I going to cash out to? Is it going to be to USDT? Is it going to be to dollars? I'm really not a fiat maxi that much i think crypto is the way to go so if we were to cash out i would cash it for a good part to just some different crypto like for example an xrp or so because what do i have on fiat i know fiat is kind of a a dying thing i don't think it's going to be gone altogether but i think it's going to be less and less useful as time goes on as again the restrictions are going to be popping off most likely or um the the inflation is just going to hit like a truck so i'd rather have just different amounts of crypto even though a bear market might come i'll just make sure i have my money a freaking uh, for example, with XRP on Flare or just some different yield protocols where I'm making money all the freaking time, I don't care about it. I know we're going to be good because crypto is the future and that is fully, fully, fully my convention. I'm just 100 and 100, 115,000 percent sure that crypto is what I want to have. And so that's also why cashing out is not any option for me. You know, maybe once you're at some really ridiculous points, you want to enjoy life that you can't buy with crypto. But then again, there's so many things which you can already buy with crypto and that will only keep increasing I don't need to cash out. I don't need to. So I'm not really doing that. But then again, that is my opinion on the matter. Hopefully you guys all enjoyed it, this video. If you did, make sure you press the like button and subscribe. Once more, make sure you check out Bybit. A link is down below. Make sure you check out Discord. A link is down below. And make sure you follow me over on Twitter. The name on there is the TheDustyBC, but a link is also down below. And uh, also make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And make sure you press the like button, everybody. Yeah!